All right, so in this problem, I have x minus 4 to the power of 4 is equal to x to the power of 4. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by subtracting x to the power of 4 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and now I have x minus 4 to the power of 4 minus x to the power of 4 is equal to 0. Now, I'm going to rewrite this as x minus 4 to the power of 2 times 2 minus x squared times 2 is equal to 0. So if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x minus 4 to the power of 2 times 2, that's going to equal x minus 4 to the power of 2 to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 2 times 2, that's going to be x squared to the power of 2. Now this is equal to 0. Now if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So x minus 4 squared to the power of 2 minus x squared to the power of 2, that's going to equal x minus 4 squared plus x squared times x minus 4 squared minus x squared. And this is equal to 0. And now if I expand this, I get negative 8x plus 16 times 2x squared minus 8x plus 16 is equal to 0. So this gives me two equations. I have negative 8x plus 16 is equal to 0, and I have 2x squared minus 8x plus 16 is equal to 0. So for negative 8x plus 16 equals 0, I get 16 is equal to 8x, meaning x equals 2. So this is one solution. And for 2x squared minus 8x plus 16, if I factor out 2, I get x squared minus 4x plus 8 is equal to 0. And now to solve this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b. So negative of negative 4, which is positive 4, plus or minus the square root of b squared. So negative 4 squared, which is 16, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 8, all over 2a, so 2. And this is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 32 is negative 16 over 2, which is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of 16i over 2, which is equal to 4 plus or minus 4i over 2, which is equal to 2 plus or minus 2i. So these are my three solutions. All right, so in this problem, I have x over 2 to the power of x is equal to 16. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by rewriting 16 here as 2 to the power of 4. So now I have x over 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 4. Now, I'm going to take the power of 1 half on both sides. So now I have x over 2 to the power of x to the power of 1 half is equal to 2 to the power of 4 to the power of 1 half. Now, x over 2 to the power of x to the power of 1 half, well, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So x over 2 to the power of x to the power of 1 half, I can multiply x and 1 half. So now I get x over 2 to the power of x over 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 4 to the power of 1 half. That's 2 to the power of 4 times 1 half. 4 times 1 half is simply 2. So now I have x over 2 to the power of x over 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 2. Now, I'm going to let the variable y equal x over 2. So now if I substitute in y for x over 2, I have y to the power of y is equal to 2 to the power of 2. And if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a is equal to b. So in this case, y is equal to 2. Now, remember we set y equal to x over 2. So if y equals 2 and y is also equal to x over 2, this means that 2 is equal to x over 2. So now, if I multiply both sides by 2, 
these two cancel out and I get x is equal to 4. So this is my answer. Alright, so in this problem I have 4 to the power of x is equal to 12. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by taking the log on both sides. So now I have log 4 to the power of x is equal to log 12. Now if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, this is equal to b times log a because all I have to do is simply move my exponent to the front. So for log 4 to the power of x, I can move x to the front. So this is going to equal x times log 4 is equal to log 12. Now we obviously want to isolate x here. So to do that, I have to get rid of this log 4 by dividing on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and now I have x is equal to log 12 over log 4. Now, log 12, that's equal to log 4 times 3. And I have this over log 4. And if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log of 4 times 3, that's going to equal log 4 plus log 3 over log 4. And this is equal to log 4 over log 4 plus log 3 over log 4. Now log 4 and log 4, these two cancel out. So now I have 1 plus log 3 over log 4. Now log 4, that's equal to 2 squared. So I have x is equal to 1 plus log 3 over log 2 squared. And log 2 squared, that's the same thing as 2 times log 2. Now log 3 is equal to 0 0.4771. And log 2, this is equal to 0 0.301. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus 0 0.4771 over 2 times 0 0.301. And this is equal to 1 plus... 0 0.7925, which is equal to 